Day two, the stone floor. So I'm just gonna go down and check that it's still in one piece and uh, whether it's dried enough. I really am not sure. Ooh, wasp. <laughs> mm. Well, I think the first part we did yesterday will definitely be dry enough to give an initial brush back. But um, yeah, might take till tomorrow for the rest of it to be done. You alright, baby? Yep. What are you up to today? I just want to get this done. But this bit, last bit of pipe work in the last bit of me all day. Okay. So we run out of stone yesterday after all the trips we've had going and getting stone. We run out of big nice pieces of stone. So it's going to be another trip today over to the land to uh, get even more stone in the tractor. Um, I think Cole's coming today. So I think Ted and Cole might be doing that while I start doing the brushing back. So yeah, hopefully today, fingers crossed, the floor will be finished in the private side. Anyway, see how we get on. The coal's been over the land finding more stone for us. Look at that huge piece! Yeah, How did you pick that up? That's heavy. I'll, uh, <laughs> it looks bloody heavy. Just needs a little bit of bolstering on the far end. Yeah. It's got a bit of a waste pump, but. Yeah. Nice. Lovely. So, with the stone pole now replenished, it was time to crack on and get this floor finished. to yeah it's going well I'm really hurting today um, I don't know why I think it's just we've had three weeks of a lot of physical work a lot of mortaring a lot of mixing a lot of lugging stone around so my back and my arms are really really hurting so I'm really lucky that I've got Cole's helping lug all the stone and Ted's doing mixes for me lugging stone in here so um, yeah guys have me out as much as possible hopefully we will I'm pretty certain we'll have this floor finished by the end of today it'll be good yeah I'm really I'm really excited to see how it turns out once we do the brushing back I'm just hoping my levels are okay because <laughs> I can already see as I'm looking along a few little dips but you're never going to get it straight it's a stone floor what can you do so oh
Is this the first time you've done watering? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of it? Do you, are you enjoying it or? Yeah, I am actually, yeah. yeah it's, um, you had to think about a, that for a while. <laughs> well, it's a centuries old technique. So, uh, day one yesterday, mixing up the lime water. Today, doing a bit of uh, the laying of the stones. Yeah, it's, it's mind blowing. It really is. How the guys in the olden days did it. Yeah. I'll take my hat off to them. Because it's bloody hard work. It is hard work, isn't it? <laughs> so. Very hard work. Didn't have levels or yeah. tape measures or cement mixers. Yeah. So Yeah, you think all oh, that was done by hand? Yeah, some poor little um servant guy. Yeah. <laughs> On a, a few francs a, a week or a month, who knows? Who knows? So but no, it's um interesting. Once it's all brushed back and wall goes up and all the Furniture's in. Furniture goes in, it'll look amazing. They show the pipe works looking lovely. Just done a fantastic job there. Yeah, good. the floor is finished and we got there thank you so much to Cole for for providing his time without Carl and Ted doing the mixes bringing the stone over and helping me I could not have done it in two days so with the prep day in total three days we've been able to finish this side that is amazing I really thought it would take a week to be able to do that it's it's very physical work and it's it's really hard on the arms just keep lugging all that stone around the the mix the mortier um, yeah, it, it's been good though, I'm really pleased. Now at the moment it looks a bit of a mess, it still needs to be brushed back, but it is going to take a few days for me to be able to do that. At the moment it's still too wet. I was hoping that the first part we did yesterday installed would be ready today to be able to brush back, but I'm afraid it's still too wet. I think another couple of days and it will be ready for me to brush it back and reveal the floor, the finished floor. So, I've come in this morning and really wanted to get the floor brushed back because that's what's stopping us getting on. But the weather is pants, absolute pants. Um, it's raining, it's windy, we've got flooding because we've had to take out the threshold stone. So now water's just coming in here. Obviously it'll be fine once we put the threshold stone back, so don't worry about it continuing to flood because it won't. But um, at the moment, because that's, the poor old dogs are bored because they've had to be shut indoors, can't come out, otherwise they just get wet, furry, smelly, horrible dogs. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those days. So at the moment, the brushing back is taking so long because I'm having to find areas that are dry but then there's lots of areas that's still wet because as I explained before, the mortier 
the, the lime and sand uh, mix absorbs moisture in the room. So all the time, we've got all this damp weather, my mortier is um, absorbing all that moisture from the room, so it's not drying out enough for me to brush back. I've been able to get some bits done. I'm taking the top levels off, but I just have to keep leaving it, coming back, seeing if another bit's dry every few hours. But it's, it's really putting us back, and it's really annoying because we were steaming ahead. Um, so, yeah, not a good day. But it wasn't long before the sun came out along with the birds and it meant work could continue. So now all the brushing back has been done and the stone has been revealed. It looks amazing anyway, just like that. But there's a final job to be done. And that is hydrochloric acid watered down and give the stones a good scrub. And it just brings them out and it takes off all that top dust uh, from the mortar dust and just cleans them up so they look absolutely stunning. And that's the final job for this floor. And it turns it from looking like this to this, which I think just looks amazing. So. I am so proud of you. Oh, thank you, I am so proud. I tell you what, I am so proud of her because of this, this incredible floor. This is a monumental achievement in anybody's book. I think but, I'm quite happy with it actually. Now, it's, now it's, it's finished. It's beautiful. It's one of those things that it's almost like it doesn't deserve to be in an area where nobody's going to see it. I know we know it and now you know it, but to have it here, God, I almost want it to work in. I want it as a workshop. It's just, it, it's an area that you want to spend some time in because of this wonderful floor. But the good thing is, we finished this side, it's all done. Now I need to concentrate on the other side, but I can't do that until Ted's put the walls up and we kind of finish this side because once we do that side, we won't be able to walk on it for a while. So we need to think about time scales. So, at least this side's finished. But I'm looking forward to doing the other side now. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be great. And it will marry up lovely with the old floor. Yeah. We can, you know, we'll know where the old floor is because that is just cobbles. Whereas this has been laid beautifully and, and mortared and everything like that. So yeah, we definitely distinguish between the two areas. Once that's in, we're off, off and running for the rest of it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's it's good. good. So it's been a heavy week. I must admit my arms are really <laughs> aching. I couldn't have done it without the help of you and Cole doing mm. the stone and the mixing for me. So thank you so much, Cole. It's a shame that you Just couldn't come back and do the brushing back because I think you would have enjoyed that process. But it went off overnight, so I had to get it done when it went off. But Just a little f fun fact for you. This is about 10 square metres. There is probably one and a half tonnes worth of just lime and sand without a stone in this floor. There you go. Fun fact. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for joining us this week. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And we'll see you all again next week for the next saga. See you soon. Take care, everyone. Have see you week. soon. Bye. Take care. Bye. We'd also like to say a huge thank you to Joanne Rainbow and Cole for your super chat stickers. Thank you so much. And Ellen Holt, welcome as our new patron. Don't forget, if you'd like to be a patron and see all the behind the scenes, extra footage and chats with me and Ted, go to our Patreon page. It's in the description. Bye.